Hi and welcome to another Majestic Cloud video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the load balancer rules to redirect traffic to specific EC2 instances. You might need to do this because you could have a use case where certain users need to use certain instances. Like for example you could have your admin interface on certain instances and the users uh, would need to the admin users would need to go that uh, uh, to those certain instances um, and you could easily do this with the load balancer rules the load balancer rules can either be based on host url path query string headers or ip address uh, in order to demonstrate this i've already set up a stack uh, just to um, save some time i've set up a stack with uh, four servers uh, each server is named after a color and uh, um, the server has an Apache installed and will serve a state static web page uh, in a specific color like the black server will serve a black color uh, the page and the red server red color and so on so this is the, the domain name playground.majestic.cloud if you reload this page you can, you can see that uh, it always loads a different key, uh, color depending on which server the requests get to so this is done um, in route 53 with an alias to the load balancer the load balancer is um, set up uh, here it's called my default load balancer and it has a tr uh, target group associated my default target group so all requests that are coming to the load balancer are going to the my default target group this target group uh, has uh, all the four servers registered in it so it uh, will serve uh, requests from one of these servers so what if i would want to add here a path uh, called black and um, when this path is added to your the url uh, this should always go to the black server the server which se serves the black pages like you could imagine this scenario with uh, if you have a wordpress page if you put here vp admin it should always go to the a specific server uh, because this server has set up some synchronization of the uploaded files and so on but we will exemplify it with uh, just black so you can see that the requests are going to the black server uh, this is easy to set up um, we will go to the target groups and set up a new target group uh, we'll call this the black target group just create it and then let's go to the black target group and register the server which serves the black pages add to registered and save now we have to go to the load balancer and uh, on the listeners tab at the http listener we need to edit the rules if you would have also an https listener you would need to edit the rules in two places so let's go view edit rules and we will add a new rule here uh, insert rule and it will be based on path so for example if path is black uh, and anything with black then the requests uh, will get redirected to the black target group let's save this and now if i go here and click on enter it should always uh, go to the uh, black uh, black uh, servers black sub 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 directory uh, right now yeah it took a little bit of time but uh, the rule is now active and no matter how many times i refresh this uh, this uh, page it will always go to the black server the black sub directory so you can see i'm reloading this page countless times and it's always going to the black server if i uh, take out this path segment then uh, the load balancer uh, will redirect uh, the requests to one of the available four servers in the default uh, target group 
Now, what if I want to set up a subdomain called red playground majestic.cloud? Um, I can do that as well. First, we need to go to the um, route 53 admin interface, create a record set, and this will be red. Uh, it's it's an a a record but we'll use an alias to the load balancer so this is it red dot playground dot majestic dot cloud and let's set up also a blue uh, subdomain blue dot play, playground dot majestic dot cloud and this will also be an alias to the load balancer let's just click on create so we have the two uh, uh, subdomains set up um, what we need to go, need, we need to do now is to go back to the uh, EC2 interface to the target groups, set up two target groups. Uh, one will be the blue target group, blue target group. Uh, this is now created. Let's register the server which serves the blue pages, blue server. Say, ah, I forgot to click on register. Um, this is a little bit uh, uh, confusing in the interface. You always need to click on Add Register to register, otherwise it will not save it. So the blue server is added. Now we create a target group for the red uh, instance, red target group. Um, save it, create it and save it and then uh, go edit and register the blue and uh, I need the red server. Um, right now we are doing it with only one server, but you can add as many servers here as you want. So save. And now we go back to uh, the load balancer and edit the rules again. Um, this time uh, we add a new rule, which is based on host header. And the host header will be blue playground dot majestic dot cloud so if this condition is met then the request should be forwarded to the blue target group okay save it and then insert another rule also based on the host header and this will be for the red subdomain if this rule is met then all requests uh, for this rule should be forwarded to the red target group okay let's save it this is also takes a, takes a bit of time to propagate um, we can see I will just load the plain uh, playground.majestic.cloud this continues to work as usual but if I uh, open a new tab and um, correct the URL here to red dot playground dot majestic dot cloud this uh, should always load the requests from the server which serves the red pages and uh, yeah it took a bit of time but uh, after that it uh, corrected itself and you can see that no matter how many times I reload this page it always loads uh, uh, the pages from the red server so let's see uh, also the blue server um, it's a little bit confusing because it's it's first it at, at first it loaded the, the red page because I think it was in the cache but uh, then uh, no matter how many times uh, uh, you load it it's it's always loading the the blue pages so this is how uh, it should work okay so you see that I'm loading the pages and uh, reloading them uh, multiple ways uh, pushing uh, control R or control shift R on my keyboard or clicking on the reload it always goes to the blue server here and it's always going to the <coughs> red server here okay now what if I want to set up a rule based on a query string let's do that as well so let's create a new uh, target group this will be the green target group green target group 
and uh, let's register the green server here green server up to register save let's go back to the load balancer and edit the rules and in this case uh, we will add the rule based on the query string so if server equals green on the query string then um, forward the requests to the green target group okay query string green let's save it and let's try it out this should work like this server equals green and uh, again because it loaded from the cache it uh, for at first served the, the, the blue page but then no matter how many times i reload it it's always loading the green server because i have this uh, these uh, query string parameters here so you can see it's working if i remove this from here then again it's loading pages uh, just as before uh, from the default target group okay so this is how you can uh, use the load balancer rules to easily redirect traffic to the servers of your choice you define the target groups which contains the servers you want and then use those target groups uh, to redirect the traffic based on rules to them uh, I hope you liked this video, if you liked it, please, then please click on like and subscribe to Majestic.cloud because we will uh, be coming uh, with new videos uh, about uh, uh, AWS and other cloud services. Thank you for watching and have a very good day.